Hello students, today we will start our syllabus as we have discussed the content of our syllabus in last lecture. Today we will start our syllabus with the first unit. The title of unit is the power of prayer. This unit or this lesson is taken from an autobiography, autobiography of late president of India, Bharat Ratna, Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam. I think there must be nobody in this country who don't know Abdul Kalam. All of us, all of us know Abdul Kalam. All of us know his contribution to our country. All of us know his devotion to the development of our country. So this lesson, it's a small piece of memory from his childhood. How he was cultured, how his family cultured him where he born, how uh, good thoughts they inculcate into the mind of Abdul Kalam. Abdul Kalam and Baddal Kunala Mahitne as Mahit as a whole shakat nahi. And here listen to the Abdul Kalam and Chab Alpanachi Sundara Shathun. Ja Chota Chota Anubhatun Abdul Kalam Ghadli. That we ek at home to my incidents. Yeah, listen to the power of prayer. Before we start our lecture or uh, before we uh, go to our text. Let us understand or let us have a brief introduction to Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam. Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam has so many achievements in his life, in his career, that it is difficult to summarize them into a very short period, isn't it? But we will see some highlighted or some major contribution to, of his to the country. He has contributed in the field of science. He has contributed in the field of weapon, that is defense system. He, is con he has contributed in the field of atomic energy. Anurja, Anubam, Nirmiti, Pasun, Shepnasra, Banvi, Parenta. Shepnasra, he is a Vaidhani Drushti Konatun Dharananda. Bharata se Rashtrapati Manun Tenni ek Vyagli Bhumika Tencha Karekala Madhi Parpani. And this kind of number of achievements are there to his name. <coughs> Let us have an introduction. Born in 1931. 31. 1931. 15 October, Ata Yenara Ekarda Hadi Somali, Abdul Kalam Sajimu Divasa. 15 October 1931, and he died in 2050. You must have known how he died. He, he was giving a lecture to students of uh, IIT and where he got a heart attack and he died there. But till the last moment, he was serving this nation. He was serving the youth specially. <clears throat> To a boat owner in Rameshwaram. Rameshwaram is a small uh, city in the uh, state of Tamil Nadu. His full name was Aul Pakir Jainuluddin Abdul Kalam. But in short, we always uh, take the acronyms and we call him Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Had an unparalleled career as defense scientist. He has unparalleled career. See, he is the pioneer. He was a Chief scientific advisor to the former president, former prime minister of India, Indira Gandhi. Then he guided, uh, what do you say, Atal Bihari Vajpayee. And in the regime of uh, uh, Atal Bihari Vajpayee, we conducted Pokhran test. And you must have seen the film. In that film, there is given how uh, the defense minister and prime minister were appraised for his contribution. But the main role was not played by Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam. <clears throat> he is also recipient of the highest civilian award of India, Bharat Ratna. He won Bharat Ratna in 1997. Means before becoming the president of India, Bharat Ratna Rashtrapati Pad Bhogna Chadi Kima Yena Chadi, the Bharat Ratna Sarvacha Sanma Naslele Bharat Ratna, ya civilian award che recipient, Maji Tanati Milalu. Look at the career graph. <clears throat> And hold the present prestigious post of President of India. When this lesson was written, he was President of India. And Chief of the Country Defense Research and Development Program, Kalam has demonstrated the potential and dynamism and innovation that exist in seemingly moribund research establishment. This is where I have given it. He served the 11th President of India in 2002 to 2007. He must be a very rare case where he was chosen unopposed, unopposed. That is what the contribution of Abdul Kalam was. Are you getting? 
what this lesson is about the power of prayer see before every text there are two segments are given first the information about author as this lesson is an autobiography his autobiography let me tell you the name of his autobiography is the wings of fire agni pankha manun ek khup navadela tancha atmacharitra ahe ani bautek tarun mula te vastat it inspires the youth it inspires the people who want to do something in their life this lesson is taken from that lesson or autobiography the second section is about the essay what is there in the essay the essay madhe kiwa the short story madhe kay ahe he hi tya dusra segment madhe dilela asto the present extract that is the power of prayer is from kalam's autobiography wings of fire which describes his life story and how his teachers parents and mentors played a powerful role in shaping his mind till the last moment he keep on telling that i am just a i am just a tool me ek sadhan hai i am cultured i am made by my teachers my mentors and my parents me jo kay ahe to majha contribution khup kami ahe majha kadun devane karun ghetlela ahe asa abdul kalam manat and another thing he used to talk is that i am made by my teacher by my parents and by my mentors mala je kay ahe aaj mi te mala majha kutumbane majha shikshakanne ghadavlela ahe the power of spirituality and religion plays a powerful role in his life and attitudes see you must be finding very contrasting contradictory that during the chief of defense science, science wing still he believe in god he believe in religion dev dharma ya gosti madhe tancha vishwas ahe nahi tar aaj aaple kade baga je jast shiklele astat je atheist astat nastik astat baga pratyekacha view asto we are not criticizing anybody pratyekane aaple aaple padhatine jivan jagavu but look at abdul kalam he is the most advanced scholar scientist of this nation and still he believe in religion and what we can say <coughs> culture let us start the lesson the power of prayer see i will already uh, what you can say uh, give you a soft copy of this text and i hope that you have taken a text to text book gitela sir asmi guhit dar do and let us start our syllabus with lesson the power of prayer power shakti might prayer prayer hum je prarthana how the power of prayer plays a role in our life see the prayer that we have and the prayer that abdul kalam talks about are different prarthana je apan karto parikshesa dadi agodar deva kade jaun kiwa result cha agodar deva kade jaun tya prarthani madhe ani abdul kalam cha prarthani madhe badal aaye are you getting it he says that something comes out from your heart aplya hrudayatun ji bhavna bahar padti tyala tu khare prarthana manta abdul kalam let us talk about it i was born into a middle class tamil family in the island town of rameshwaram in the erstwhile madras state it was then a madras state teva te madras rajya nav madras navas rajya hota then it turned into the tamil nadu my father janabuddin had neither much formal education nor much wealth त्याच्या वडिलांबद्दल तू सांगतो ही वॉज नॉट व्हेरी रिच ही वॉज नॉट व्हेरी नॉलेजेबल ही वॉज नॉट सो एज्युकेटेड डिस्पाइट दिस डिसएडव्हान्टेज जरी त्यांच्याकडे काही शिक्षण कमी असेल तरीही द ही पजेस ग्रेट इन एट विजडम अँड ट्रू जनॉसिटी ऑफ स्पिरिट एक विजडम विजडम म्हणजे शहाणपण त्यांच्याकडे शहाणपणा होता अँड मोर इम्पॉर्टंटली ही वॉज जनरस ऑफ स्पिरिट जनरॉसिटी म्हणजे त्यांचं मन मोठं होतं Abdul Kalam is talking about his father. He had an ideal helpmate in my mother Ashi Amma. His name her name is Ashi Amma. त्याचा आईचं नाव Ashi Amma आहे. And Abdul Kalam sangta ka khari real helpmate kwa real colleague partner mhanun maji aai tyancha sobat hoti. But I do not recall the exact number of people she fed every day but I am quite certain that far more outsiders are ate with us than the members of our own family put together see amcha kutumba madhe jevde member ahe tyacha peksha jast sankhya bahir chi lok amcha gharat jevan ach jevan karaychi manjes ka te anna purna hoti tyancha ghari ti nehmi annadan wagere karat asel it is the nature of ashyama that is what 
he had learned from his family generosity आई वडिलांकडून जर त्यांनी सगळ्यात पहिला अब्दुल कलाम यांनी गुण घेतला असेल तर तो म्हणजे जनरॉसिटी टू गिव्ह मोठ्या मनाने द्यायचं ही डेडिकेटेड हिज लाईफ टू द नेशन त्यांनी त्यांचं जीवन दिलं भारतासाठी माय पॅरेंट्स वेअर वाईडली रिगार्डेड ॲज अन आयडियल कपल एक आदर्श जोडप माझं कुटुंब आई वडील होते माय मदर लिनेज वॉज मोर डिस्टिंग्विश वन ऑफ हर फोर बिअर्स हॅव्ह बीन डिस्टर्ब द लिटल टायचल बहादूर बाय द ब्रिटिश माझ्या आईचे वडील त्यांना बहादूर नावाची पदवी दिली होती जसं ब्रिटिश आपल्याकडे इथं राज्य करण्यासाठी काही विशिष्ट लोकांची नेमणूक करायची ते अपॉइंट सर्टन पीपल देशमुख पाटील पोलीस पाटील तसं बहादूर नावाची किंवा जहागीरदार नावाची पोस्ट त्यांनी दे केली होती आणि तशा पोस्ट अब्दुल कलामांच्या आईच्या आईंना म्हणजे आजोबांना होती आय वॉज वन ऑफ द मेनी चिल्ड्रन इन शॉर्ट बॉय विथ रॅदर अनडिस्टिंग्विश लुक अनेक घर मध्य मुल होती मैं भावंड होती मी एक होते एंड आई वॉज अनडिस्टिंग्विश लुक मे मी खूब सुंदर दिशा नो मी थोड़ा खराब दिशा सेल्फ बेल्फ एक्सेप्टन्स अपन जसे आहोत ना जो एक्सेप्टन्स हो अब्दुल कलाम सर्वतना महत्ति मी हिरो सारे दिशत नहीं मी फार गोरा नहीं मी फार देखना नहीं बट ही बिलीव ही एक्सेप्टेड ती एक्सेप्ट करता है बगा बॉन्ड टू टॉल एंड हम पेरेंट्स माझे आई वडील दोघेही हँडसम होते पण त्यांचा मी असा खूप सुंदर असा नसलेला मुलगा वी लिव्ह इन अवर अँडसिस्टर हाऊस विच वॉज बिल्ड इन द मिडल ऑफ नाईन्टीन सेंचुरी एकोणावीसाव्या शतकाच्या मध्यभागी असं घर बनवलेलं होतं आमचं आमच्या वारसाचं घर इट वॉज फेअरली लार्ज पक्का हाऊस आणि ते घर कसं होतं पक्का हाऊस म्हणजे सफेद मातीमध्ये तयार केलं भक्कम असं घर होतं मेड ऑफ लाईन स्टोन अँड ब्रिक चून खडक आणि ब्रिक विटांनी बनवलेलं घर होतं ऑफ द मॉस्क ट्रीट ऑफ रामेश्वरम रामेश्वरमची जी मस्जिद आहे मॉस्क मंदिर त्याच्या गल्लीतच आमचं घर होतं माय ऑस्ट्रियर फादर युज टू अवॉइड ऑल इन इनिसेन्शियल कम्फर्ट्स अँड लक्झरीज जे गरजेची लक्झरी नाही गरज नाही ज्या गोष्टीची ते माझं कुटुंब कधीच एक्सेप्ट करत नव्हतं गरजे पुढच्या वस्तूच आमच्या घरामध्ये असत आर यू गेटिंग इट ज्या शोभेच्या वस्तू आहे लक्झरियस आहे त्या आमच्या कुटुंबात नव्हत्या दोज वेअर अवॉयडेड बाय माय पॅरेंट्स हाय युअर ऑल नेसेसिटीज वेअर प्रोवायडेड फॉर अस इन टर्म्स ऑफ फूड मेडिसिन ऑर क्लोजेस पण गरजेच्या वस्तू असतात फूड अन्न मेडिसिन औषधं अँड क्लोज कपडे व्यवस्थितरित्या ते आम्हाला पुरवत असत इनफॅक्ट आय वुड से माईन वॉज व्हेरी सेक्युअर चाइल्डहूड बोथ मटेरियली अँड इमोशनली ही सेज माय चाइल्डहूड इज मोर कम्प्लीट अकम्प्लिश इमोशनली ॲज वेल भावनिकदृष्ट्या सुद्धा माझं कुटुंब म्हणजे माझं संगोपन खूप चांगल्या पद्धतीने झालं असं अब्दुल कलाम त्यांच्या या लेसनमध्ये सांगतात टुडे वी हॅव इंट्रोड्यूस धिस लेसन वी हॅव स्टार्ट लिथ धिस लेसन टुमॉरो आय विल पुट अनादर व्हिडिओ रिगार्डिंग ऑर द नेक्स्ट व्हिडिओ रिगार्डिंग धिस लेसन इट इज युअर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू हॅव अ टेक्स्ट बुक टेक्स्ट बुक तुम्ही मिळवा मार्केटमध्ये आहे अँड थ्रू दिस व्हिडिओ इफ यू हॅव एनी डाऊट डू रेज युअर डाऊट तुमचे जे डाऊट्स आहेत ते तुम्ही मला विचारा आय विल पोस्ट धिस व्हिडिओ ऑन गुगल क्लासरूम ॲज वेल अँड ऑन युट्यूब दॅट इज द ग्रुप दॅट वी हॅव क्रिएटेड ऑन व्हॉट्सॲप लेट मी टेल यू तुम्हाला एक काम करायचं आहे का युट्यूबचा हा व्हिडिओ बघितल्यानंतर तुम्हाला तुमचं नाव कॉमेंट बॉक्समध्ये टाकायचं आहे जेणेकरून तुम्हाला लक्ष देईल का तुम्ही हा व्हिडिओ बघितला आणि मग मी तुमची अटेंडन्स लावीत जाईल ओके थँक्यू